Thanks for finding Like a Hawk. Wrestling on a Thursday can only mean one thing. That means a new product dropped on Wednesday, and it did. We are going to be opening up a box of 2019 Road to WrestleMania. Two hits per box, one autograph guaranteed. There are medallion cards which have Andre the Giant trophy. Um, I believe uh, Lance on posted that there was going to be an Intercontinental Belt medallion. So we'll see what we get out of that. So at least two hits into there. Um, and then this again is going to be the set that has the storylines for the year. Um, we're also beginning getting some bronze, which are one out of two packs, some blue, silver, gold, and reds. Uh, printing plates are in here. There's a spotlight on Ronda Rousey. And the autographs, from what I've seen, have looked pretty neat. So we're supposed to be getting 48 inserts total along with the hit and the relic. So we'll see. Um, the hit it forward candidates, of course, are going to be the big people like Undertaker, Triple H, Stephanie, Ronda Rousey. Um, so if I hit one of those, we'll do a hit it forward. Um, people that are unfamiliar with hit it forwards means if I get something nice, something that I've been looking for, um, I'm going to pass the good fortune on to a sub and we're going to do a giveaway for, for one of you guys to get uh, a hit. So I've been doing that since, I think since the channel started and it's something I really love doing. So um, 24 packs, seven cards per pack, unless you get, you know, a relic or you know, some type of other big ticket card in there. Um, Pre-order is about 52, 53, normal price for a Topps product. Um, women's division was the only one that really shot up at the beginning to about 65. So we'll pull these packs out. All right. And there's what the packs look like. And the odds, the, if you want to do the number 10 envelope, I don't know if you can see that, the uh, NPN 2019 Tops WWE Road to WrestleMania, NPN Group 35, PO Box 5013, Scranton PA 18505. So if you want to do that, feel free to enter that form top. So this is going to be the base card of the... Um, the WrestleMania, like the, I guess, the individual people. So there's a Finn Balor. Um, there's the back of that. I kind of dig this, uh, dig how these look. You do, it's just, again, it's that thin stock that you're used to with most of the, the tops. Uh, so again, we have Xavier Woods. So this is going to be the Ronda Rousey um, spotlights. So there is one of the Ronda Rouseys, three of 30. Uh, and then these are going to be the other, you know, generic type ones. So this is uh, Raw. Strowman, Braun Strowman, John Cena, and then the bar. And I believe these cards are supposed to be color coordinated so that if you get one of the raw ones, it's going to be red. If you get one of SmackDowns, it's blue and so on and so forth. But so I wanted to also tell people that there was a product that dropped. Uh, well, it didn't drop yet, but there was there's talk about it. So there is going to be a WWE. There's going to be one of our bronze parallels. There's going to be a WWE Transcendent uh, release. So if you're unfamiliar with what Transcendent is, it is the, I think, the most expensive product out there. Uh, for Topps Baseball, it was $30,000 a case. They're attempting to do it with wrestling. So this time around, the case is going to be thirteen thousand. Um, the you're going to get fifty autographs within there. And oh, so here is our autograph. So we have a Sheamus autograph, uh, and that is wow, that is on card, which is kind of nice. So I don't see any numbering yet. So. This is not one of the more limited ones, but there is the Seamus Auto out of the box. So, not bad. I think I have some Seamuses, so not the best auto for the PC, but it is, you know, all things considered, not bad. Um, so, as I was saying for um, Transcendent, the WWE Transcendent set is going to be 13000 and you get 50 different autograph cards that I believe are numbered 
25 or less. The big things coming out of the set, there's a nice Alexa Bliss card, are um, Vince McMahon is signing for the first time, I think for the first time in a major set. Um, you also have each case is going to be getting a one of one Rob, um, Rob Schamberger sketches. Um, he's been kind of, you've seen a lot of his stuff if you go into the WWE site. Um, so you also, there is a, I think there's a replica belt that's autographed. You get one of those per case. And what else? I think that's that's the big news. Uh, they're all going to be on card. They're going to be framed. So if you're familiar with the gold label, kind of looks like that. There are group baked breaks up. There was one um, that was on blowout cards, which they filled. There is another one that's supposed to be coming up soon. Um, but if you want to get in, I think now this is the type of product that I think was designed for breakers. There's no way I was going to afford a thirteen thousand dollar case in my lifetime. Um, but I might take a shot on one spot. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the big ticket item out of the case too is a trip, a ticket to WrestleMania, uh, along with a meet and greet. Um, you get some prize bag as well. They don't say who you're meeting and greeting, um, but that is also included, which is a big part of the thirteen thousand dollar price tag. A ticket to WrestleMania. They, again, they do not say where. It's a nice picture of Ronda Rousey. They don't tell you where that you are going to be seating in uh, WrestleMania, but um, and depending on who the meet and greet is with, and you know if you can actually get an autograph from them or a picture, it might be kind of cool. So, and uh, for the price of, uh, it's almost like a lottery ticket. So, and Stone Cold is signing. Stone Cold uh, hasn't signed for a long, long time. I mean, he had some that he he had the uh, Austin 316 on, um, but besides that. He hasn't signed a lot, and that's he's going to be part of the set. So Ronda Rousey's going to be in there. So like those are the big things that are going to be part of it. So take a look, Tops Transcendent WWE coming out in February, the day before Valentine's. So um, also big wrestling news: All Elite Wrestling is coming together. Cody signed, Young Buck signed, five-year deal for them. So it looks like they are going, no pun intended, all in on AEW and hopefully it can do pretty well. Now's a great time to be a wrestler because there's so many different places that you can go to for that want your services. So um, we'll see about that. So as you can see, the purples are going to be the NXT. Uh, we have Bobby Lashley, Cedric Alexander, more bronzes, Fastlane, uh, Raw, John Cena, defeating Kane, Seth Rollins, have the Survivor Series and Kurt Angle, and he was part of the Shield for that one. Uh, I was talking to a couple people as well in the comment section about who's going to win the Royal Rumble. Um, nice to see Sasha Banks getting a push. Now, I'm trying. I'm, I'm really trying to think how the Royal Rumble is going to go here. You have Rousey and Asuka with the belts. Rousey screwed up things for Becky Lynch and Charlotte so that Asuka now has the belt. So is Becky going to retaliate at Royal Rumble and mess her out of her belt, which would mean Sasha would be the champion? And then that's the way the Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey is going to continue and eventually culminate in a WrestleMania match, which might even main event that pay-per-view. That would be kind of cool. Um, or do we go the other route and Becky Lynch wins the Royal Rumble? She then challenges Ronda Rousey, who holds on to the belt from Sasha Banks, on, and then they fight for for the title. And Becky Lynch would jump ship. Um, I'm hoping Charlotte and Becky interfere in the Ronda match, leading Sasha to gain the belt, which would then give them another match. You know, if Ronda has the belt and Becky goes after it, you're you just you know it's another title match. Whereas if you put the title on Sasha, you can have that tight women's title match plus the Ronda Becky feud, which at this point I don't think needs a belt to make people want to watch that type of contest. So we'll have to see. There's a Liv Morgan card. 
Paul Heyman. So we'll have to see what WWE decides to do. Um, but, uh, yeah, so and in terms of the men's, I don't know. I don't know if Braun Strowman gets the belt at the Rumble. I don't know if they're going to hold on to... Um, I don't know if they're going to have Brock hold on to the belt until somebody finds... There's a Sasha belt, or a Sasha Banks card for the PC. Um, if And Bray Wyatt, now I hope he shows up for the Rumble. I can't see why he wouldn't, um, along with Harper and Rowan. So, a lot of question marks that could happen at the, at the Royal Rumble. So, we'll have to see about that. Um, I could even see could even see maybe like a Shayna Baszler winning the Royal Rumble and going after Asuka's belt and doing it that way. So if Becky and or Charlotte interfere in the match, then Shayna would be the one that would go after Asuka and then Asuka would fight Shayna and then you have the Becky Ronda match outside of that. And since nobody's getting, now this is another strange thing, is that you know no one's getting a rematch clause, but the funny thing is the people that lost the belts are once again fighting for the belt in the pay-per-view, so that just doesn't really make sense to me if you're dropping the, the champs don't get a rematch, automatic rematch, and then all of a sudden they're the ones that are fighting for the, for the belt in the next pay-per-view. I mean, why, why even do that? So It's a nice Undertaker card. Wilkin Matt Hardy. Ronda Rousey, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn reunite. They've been off TV for a while, so maybe they'll show up at, at the Rumble. Maybe before, we'll see. Shinsuke winning the Royal Rumble match. Hopefully they'll have somebody like that winning the match. I don't know who the fan favorite would be. Maybe, well, I guess, Seth Rollins. Um, I don't know. Harper, Rusev, out of bronze, Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman there. Kevin Owens defeats Shane McMahon. It's kind of a weird, weird shot right there. And Hell in the Cell. Uh, Bobby Roode and Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. Um, what else is going on? Daniel Bryan with his tirade on SmackDown. I don't know about you. I am kind of with him. In, he makes a lot of sense being a heel. Um... People are eating bad. They're buying things that are going to destroy the environment. Um, I thought as a heel, you're, you want people to hate you. And if you're talking sense like that, I don't know how much I can hate you. So it's cheap heat at its finest. I don't know if it's going to last. But, um, yeah, I just, I just don't get Daniel Bryan trying to do the heel, the heel thing. It's just not working for me. So um, hopefully everybody is enjoying wrestling. Uh, leading up to, well, there's a sweet card, Cedric Alexander. Look at that nice background there. And Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. So hopefully everybody's enjoying wrestling. Uh, if you watched Wrestle Kingdom, very solid pay-per-view, up and down. Um, and, you know, Kenny Omega can't jump ship anywhere until February 1st, so we're not going to know where he's going to go. But um, pretty sure it's going to be an, an AEW. So here's a silver card we have. This is John Cena defeating Kane in a no DQ match, and that is going to be out of 25. One out of 25. Right there. There's the back of that. Uh, Shinsuke and AJ Shinsuke again. And those two got two more packs. Uh, next week, I think I'm going to be helping YSF with a Hawk to the Rescue. And I believe it's going to be a 2017 or 2018 or 2017 uh, Road to WrestleMania. So it is a product I have not opened myself yet. It's a nice Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy. So I'm really looking forward to cracking open a box, helping someone, a young collector, complete their set. And then also to see some cards that I, now this is pretty heavy, so this is probably going to be a medallion card here. So, yep, so we will see if we get any other card besides Medallion. And we get, so we get a Miz, we get a Rowan, and then we get a Kane. So these were the Andre the Giant Battle Royal Medallions. 
and this is going to be out of 99. I don't know. That's that's not a bad for a medallion. That's that's not a bad medallion because it you know kind of looks like the statue that you're getting um, if you win the battle royal. So and particularly because it's Kane, um, that's not bad. It is out of this one's out of 99, 79 out of 99. So I think I have another one of these boxes coming at some point. So we'll break. One more of these. There's the back of the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Um, I don't know. It was an okay box. It wasn't that great. It, it was okay. Um, we have the 1 to 25 Cena versus Kane. Uh, and then our autograph, which is nice that it's on card. It's not sticker. This was an on card Seamus. Um, not numbered. Don't see a number anywhere. So this is going to be what your base auto. And I'm not sure how many are stickered and how many are actually on card. So watch for that i haven't seen any other there's one other break um, that was on youtube as of today so i hope you enjoyed the break thanks for checking this out if you like the video hit that like button if you want to be part of the giveaways first thing you got to do is hit that sub button below feel free to tell me about your hits in the comments i always love to hear about those and we'll tell everybody about your hits on the next just the hits video and of course their social media instagram and twitter at lego hawk cards all one word i hope you've had a lot of luck in your next break and thanks for watching, Like a Hawk.